Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. First of all, I want to say sorry about the quality um, under quarantine. I cannot really go to the studio and film anything and I can't really film well at the house. So I'm using my computer because it's the best thing that I have. And also sorry about my hair because this is very long. Today, we're going to be looking at what makes Rome Research so different and better than Notion and Evernote. I've seen a lot of people ask on Twitter, what is the difference between Rome, Notion and Evernote? So I thought I would answer. Let's jump right in. Here we have of Evernote. Wait, there, Evernote. And inside Evernote, there are folders. So we have a podcast folder, a books folder, and a YouTube folder. Within folders, there are notes. So we have a note for not overthinking podcast, a new note for Atomic Habits book, and a note for a YouTuber, Matt Diavella. If you don't know him, go check him out. Within Evernote, all of these pages or notes are linked together with their notebook. So if I go into the podcast notebook, I can't see Atomic Habits or Matt Diavella. I have to go back out and go into my books or YouTube notes. You can also add more notes. So we have the Tim Ferriss Show, Deep Workbook, and another YouTuber, Peter McKinnon. Again, if you have not checked him out, go check him out. But what if I wanna link Not Overthinking to the Tim Ferriss Show? Impossible, it can't happen. Why? Because this is Evernote. What about if I wanna link Tim Ferriss to Matt Diavella? I can't do it. Why? Because it's Evernote. What about not overthinking to YouTube? Can I do that? No. Why? Because gravity. Just kidding, because it's Evernote. And Evernote cannot do that. So that's Evernote. You have notebooks with notes or pages inside of the notebooks, and it's very linear. But let's take a look at Notion. Wait a minute, that's not Notion? There. Notion. Here we have in Notion the same exact file structure we have in Evernote. Our podcasts, our books, and our YouTube channels. Within those, there are pages. Why are they pages? Because that's what Notion calls them. Within the podcast page, there's a Tim Ferriss Show page and a Not Overthinking page. In Notion, you can connect the Not Overthinking page to the Tim Ferriss Show page. How do you do that? You do that by selecting backslash, link to a page, and type in the page and hit enter when you get to Tim Ferriss Show. So if I go on Not Overthinking, I will see the Tim Ferriss Show page. But if I select the Tim Ferriss Show page, is there an automatic link between that and the Not Overthinking page? No. Why? Because gravity. Just kidding, because it's Notion. And that's how Notion works. All of their links are one direction. No one direction. So if you start on the left side, you're gonna link something to the right side where the arrow's going. You can manually add a link from the right side to the left side and connect it that way. That's the only way to get two directional links or what Rome calls bi-directional links. This is how Rome functions. How by bi-directional links. Bi-directional links in Rome are magic. That's how they work. They go two ways. So if I have a page for the book Atomic Habits, I'm going to create a new page for that book and I'm going to tag James Clear. He's the author of Atomic Habits. So now the book Atomic Habits, that page is linked to the page James Clear. However, I also want to add a tag on that page for productivity. So now Atomic Habits is tagged with productivity. If I go to productivity, there is Atomic Habits, the book. But now I also want to add Atomic Habits to my page blog post ideas. So I'm going to add a tag and link blog post ideas. So now the page blog post ideas contains the link to Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits contains the links for blog post ideas, James Clear, and productivity. If I go into productivity, I see the link for Atomic Habits. If I go into James Clear, I see the link for Atomic Habits. But the thing that makes Rome so powerful is now that productivity, James Clear, and blog post ideas are all linked together. How? It's the bi-directional links. That's how they work. Here we are in Rome and I have an empty page. I'm gonna name this page Atomic Habits. Why? Because that's the book we're reading. I'm gonna make a reference note in this page and I'm gonna tag James Clear because he wrote the book. I'm also gonna add my page for blog post ideas because I wanna write a blog about this book. And I'm going to add a product 
activity keyword because I want this page to show up when I filter through my productivity hacks. So here we have that structure. We have Atomic Habits, the reference tag with the author, James Clear, the blog post ideas because I want to reference it back later through my blog post and a productivity tag. Now what happens when I select James Clear, I see Atomic Habits. I also see two other articles that he's written that I've tagged him in. How? Because magic. Just kidding, it's the bi-directional links. So now when I'm looking through my blog post ideas, I see, oh, I want to write a blog post about Atomic Habits. What is Atomic Habits? Well, let's click it and let's find out what Atomic Habits is. So here we are and we can add our highlights page enter a tab and you can enter in child blocks within this. So I can import my highlights from my Amazon Kindle and all my notes on Atomic Habits are in one page. I also wanna add a tag to my book list because I want this to show up when I open my book page. So we're gonna open our book page and we see Atomic Habit. The only other book here is Range because I haven't moved all of my resonance calendar over from Notion. What does that look like? I'm not gonna show you because it's secret. So here we have our bi-directional links in Notion. They're over here in the graph overview. If you click that, all of your pages will come up. Here is what contains all of our links. If we wanna single one out, we can click it and it shows us where that page is linking to. We double click it and it opens. Let's click back to more pages. We can click this page and it's linked to that one. We click this page and it's linked to that one. We click this page and it's linked to a ton. Let's click this one and we see this is probably one of my books. Yes, it is because it has all of these tags all over the place. This is the power of Rome linking very different thoughts together with very minimal effort. The smartest way to use Rome's bi-directional links are to use the daily notes section. Let's say I have a favorite quote I hear today, so I'm gonna add my quote and I'm gonna say, winners never quit, they win. What a profound quote. I'm gonna shift click my quotes page, which will open up here and we see, why isn't there anything there? Is it broken? No, you just have to hit 11. This shows all the linked references to quotes. This is all the quotes I've read, I've learned, or I've put down in my Rome database and linked quote to, so I can come back to later. If I wanna filter through quotes, I can filter through, oh, what quotes are from range? I can see what quotes are from range. It is very cool the way the bi-directional links work. I hope you can use Rome Research to its full potential and remember, the bi-directional links link pages to another automatically so you don't have to. This makes it the defining difference between Notion, Evernote, and all the other fancy tech startups. And if you liked this video, if it was helpful to you, I would appreciate if you subscribed, leave a comment, and if you have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram at Dalton.Mabry or visit my website at DaltonMabry.me. Thanks so much and I hope to see you in the next episode.